let's get started with the creation of the virtual machine on the Hyper-V server. So this is the Hyper-V manager. This comes with the Hyper-V role. So if you're not sure how to create or enable the Hyper-V role on your server, I have given the link for my video in the description box where I have specifically mentioned the steps to enable the Hyper-V role on the server. So here, my Hyper-V manager, I'll click on to the connect to server. If you have the virtualization server running on another computer, select the computer here. Otherwise, my high virtualization server is running on the local computer. I'll just click on to the local computer and click OK. So now my virtualization server has connected. I'll right click onto the server with the new and virtual machine. New virtual machine wizard is opened up. I'll give next. Here I need to specify the name and the location for the virtual machine. I just keep the name as it is. I'll give the location by selecting store the virtual machine in the different location. I'll give browse. I'll select the folder that I have created to install this virtual machine. I'll give select next. Now here you can choose the generation of your type. If you want the normal generation one, you can select generation one. If you want to have the latest features such as secure boot, SCSI boot, PXC boot, using the standard network adapters, you can select the generation two. For generation two, you must ensure that the operating system will be running at least Windows 2000 server, 2012 server, or six or 64 bit version of Windows 8. By default, I am selecting generation 1 and giving next. So, here we need to specify the startup memory for the virtual machine. This is the RAM that we need to give. So, by default, it comes like 512 MB. I'll give it 1024, 1 GB at least, and I'll select the use dynamic memory for the virtual machine. What is dynamic memory? Dynamic memory, I'll give the example. Like for me, the RAM is 1024 for my machine. Now, if by any chance the machine at the current instance is running on 10 MB. So the rest of the memory will be wastage and will be blocked. So if I select the dynamic memory, so the system will use 10 MB only and will free up the remaining memory for other virtual machine to use. So I can use multiple machines at the same time. Memory optimization will be there if I select the dynamic memory option. Give next and here I can select the network adapters for me Broadcom something is connect is selected is coming by default so I've selected that for you it could be different thing so you can select accordingly give next and here we need to connect the virtual hard disk so if, if you have the existing hard disk select this option and browse and select the existing virtual hard disk otherwise if you want to attach the virtual hard disk later you can select this or for me now I'll just click on I just click on to create a virtual hard disk I'll keep the name as it is location I'll give the same as that I have given the during the creation of the virtual machine and I select the folder here size I can mention I can go up to 64 terabyte whereas I need just 50 GB of the space for my virtual machine I'll give next now here the installation option comes so if you want to install the operating system later you can select this if you want to Install the operating system and you have the CD, DVD, ROM or the image file. You select this, select the image file.iso and give the path for this ISO. I have the ISO for 2016 server. I have selected it and I'll give next. So in this page, it will give you the description of what all you selected like the name, generation, memory, network, hard disk, operating system. If you want to change anything, you can select corresponding options and can change it at any point of time but once you click finish you won't be able to change as of now but still you can change it finish it has started creating and now you can see the virtual machine is created currently the state is off you can right click and give connect so here is a button called start click onto the button it will start the virtual machine and now it is loading files from the ISO for the 2016 server that I have connected during the virtual machine creation. So once the files are loaded up, the wizard for the setup, the Windows setup will come up and I'll select the corresponding options and can initiate the setup for the Windows 2016 server. So let's wait for the files to load up. 
So now you can see the Windows logo came up. And now give the next here and install now. Click on to install now. And the setup has started now. The setup is starting. So likewise, you can install the OS. Just give the relevant information and just initiate the setup startup. So this way we can create the virtual machine on the Hyper-V server and can install OS of our choice on which we need to work on. Thanks for watching.